What's happening, people? I'm Paddy the Baddy, and this is my essentials. I can't live without music. Anyone that comes in the gym will tell you that. You know what I mean? Every single session, it gets us going. And then that's the same for me when I'm riding my bike or I'm out jogging. I, I have to have some music on to keep the blood flowing. I always play the same playlist when I'm in the gym, like uh, Mob Deep and Biggie and Supac and that, but then it's got like your Stormzy's, your Meeks, your new people involved. But lately I'm, I'm hooked on the Arctic Monkeys since Glastonbury, to be honest. I get asked this quite a lot. If there's one album that you could get everyone to listen to, what would it be? And everyone expects me to say like a more recent one, but I think this album came out before I was even born. Uh, Naz, Illmatic. Uh, I can listen to every song on that album right after another without skipping one. And the next essential item, it's quite funny because when I told people I was doing this, they turned around and said, your phone best be on that list. This phone might as well be glued to my hand. I'm, I'm terrible for it, you know what I mean? People always say, just put your phone down and speak to me. Sometimes I'm just... Yeah, you, YouTube probably is one of the most watched things on my phone, to be honest. That is, a lot of screen time is on there. As we're talking, a comment's just come up on my YouTube right away as a notification. Most used apps on my phone, I'd probably say Instagram, WhatsApp, definitely WhatsApp when I'm speaking to everyone. Um, my Whoop Band app, the, the weather. I'm always using the weather on there. And I'm always co-pilot in the car as well, so Google Maps is always one that gets used on my phone, even though I get told I'm the worst co-pilot in the world. As I say, I'm lucky enough to be born on the red side of Liverpool because I've had some happy memories and some of the best days of my life going to watch Liverpool, where if you're born on the blue side, you're pretty depressed. Well, yeah, you, you don't get to decide if you, what you, who you support, you know what I mean? It's whoever you, your dad supports. Simple as that, basically. I really don't think many people in my city, whether you're blue or red, could live without our football teams. Anyone that knows me will tell you I am pretty addicted to this game, and it is football manager. You're a, you're a manager of a football team, you go any team you want. Obviously, when I first make one, I always go Liverpool. I, I back me own up the Reds. I play this every day without fail. Like, on the in the car journey on the way to the gym this morning, I was playing this. My game time on this is 37 days, 15 hours and 17 minutes. That's just one save. That's how sad my life is at times. When you're, when you're in fight camp and you've got nothing else to do, it, it does proper help past time. I don't, I don't really play any other games. I don't need to. I've got footy manager. This fella right here, he's like two and a half now, and he's basically our son. Like, he is. He's not. He's not like a dog, he's like a human. I'll show you something. Come on. Come here. We used to try and make him stay in his bed or put a blanket on the bed and he could get on the blanket. Now. Wake up in the morning and his head's in between man and Laura's. You know what I mean? He's just like that. On his back. Just swear. He, he really is like our son. It's mad. In the past then we've seen people, like dogs that need a home, spoke with Laura about, oh, do you can get another dog? Like, he's got a brother then, or a sister. And she's like, no, don't think we'll ever be able to love another dog as much as Lenny. My main thing on YouTube, obviously, is uploading content and things like that. So first and foremost, I'm a fighter. You know what I mean? You could call me a YouTuber and RV1, but I haven't even got over a million subscribers, so I, I'm not good enough to be a YouTuber just yet. <laughs> the video everyone knows probably got on my channel for anyone who knows it already is when I grappled with 10 Marines. That was hilarious because I was fat, I was in shape, and they made me do a circuit before it. So like by the time I'd even come to grapple with them, I was like, <laughs> and then I still got it done. And my next essential item, so and I know for a fact I definitely couldn't live without, is still feels weird to say, my wife. Yeah, we um, we knew each other when we were little kids, you know what I mean, playing in the streets. Uh, I lived on the main road and she lived in the little side road next to her. And from my bedroom window, I could see her front door, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, she she tells everyone she used to hate me when we were kids. She definitely never. You know what I mean? It's definitely never. We used to play in the street together, I used to together, play in the seat we? with your older brother. Yeah, and then, yeah, one day we just started speaking online and now we're here. But yeah, we started speaking when I was 16 and she was 15 and as they say, the rest is history. My next essential item is my bike. I cycle everywhere. So literally to the gym, from the gym, wherever. Well, yeah, this bike actually got gifted to me by recent mother, the company. Um, as you can see, it's got the body down the side. It's got, you'll never walk alone down here, as I mentioned, Liverpool FC, big LFC badge on the front. And it's a, it's an electric bike. It gives me a little, little push when I'm, when I'm pedaling it. And it gets me from A to B just as fast as driving a car does, especially in like rush hour times. Well, it's not an item, it's more a place, you know what I mean? And to represent it, there's the next generation badge, which is my gym. But you know, it's not just it's not just obviously that gym, I train in other gyms as well. It keeps me in a good mental space, as well as it keeps me physically fit. I first got into MMA, it was because of the UFC, you know what I mean? Um, one of the lads in the youth club, Kyle, showed me a fight and I watched it and was like, I need to have a go with that, me. I need to have a go with that. And I can remember when I lost lost my first fight, I was thinking, oh, I can't, I'm not even getting by doing this. This isn't a comfortable source of income. I, had, I, I don't know what I'm meant to do here. I got offered a job in the gym. So I started working in Next Generation every day, um, helping Paul do one-to-ones. And it brought me level on so much as well, like my skill level, as well as help me get by and just live a normal life. So that was it, people. That's my top essential items that I really couldn't live without. And I've, I've given you all my essentials there. Without them, I'd be none. So thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one.